welcome to this News 9 special with me, Nandita. He was a man with a murky past and a pitiable existence. But today he is an inspiration and even a God-sent miracle for thousands of destitute. We are talking about a man who has transformed the lives of many but still lives in obscurity. This is the story of Bengaluru's Otto Raja. Have you ever heard of Bengaluru's Otto Raja? For most of you, the name might sound familiar, but for the ones who are not aware, he is a man who has transformed the lives of thousands and served as an inspiration for superstars. Our real hero, Otto Raja. He's a real hero, and I'm proud of him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. New Ark Mission Home of Hope is a center for destitute people in the Dagubbi village near Kotanur in North Bengaluru. It was started by Otto Raja back in 1997 and the challenges he has had to overcome since then is something truly praiseworthy. Raja works in collaboration with Bengaluru Police Department. When cops come across a destitute or an unclaimed body, they immediately call a Porto Raja. Raja then tends to those in need at his own expense and even conducts cremations of bodies that are unclaimed. He nurses the needy back to good health and even helps them lead better lives. Currently, there are around 500 people staying in his center, which has three separate wings for men, women and children. Otto Raja even has his own ambulance and a staff of 25 that helps him in his mission. Most of the people here are suffering from mental and physical ailments and there are some who have been turned away by their families because they either don't have the patience or the resources to look after them. Some of them have been disowned by their families for committing crimes and about 10% of them are suffering from AIDS. Physically challenged inmates of this home require constant care and help in performing even the most basic of tasks. Home of hope is the see whoever lives in the street, they don't have hope in their life, don't have home, don't have a shelter, don't have food, medicine, nothing, HIV, cancer, TB, hundreds of diseased people they have, psycho, mentally retarded, tuberculosis, lot of people, they, 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 they uh, we rescued more than 7,000 people, more than 3,600 people, they died in peace, in dignity, before dying, they have a wish in their heart. Before dying, they'll ask, Daddy, I want chicken kebab, I want masala dosa, I want idli, we'll provide. We'll cook nicely, we have a multi-kitchen, we'll cook every day uh, 150 kg rice. Per month, we are using 3,500 kilos of rice, three and a half tons of rice. Just depend on God, one thing I can say, our Karnataka people, the Bangalore people are supporting very well. I don't have any support from government. Even I don't have any one rupee, one rupee, no one can say 
वन रुपी वी आर सपोर्टिंग फॉर द ऑटो राजा नो एवरी डे वन आर टू विल डाई एवरी डे द क्रिमेशन आई एम स्पेंडिंग आई गेव आई वेंट आई गेव फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज एंड आई वेंट फॉर आंध्रा टू कलेक्ट डोनेशन बट इट विद इन थ्री डेज वॉज एम टी शी स्टेलिंग माई माई वाइफ शी स्टेलिंग एवरी डे वन आर टू इज डाइंग हाउ कैन आई वी आर स्पेंडिंग वन बॉडी फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज पेट्रोल फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज थाउजेंड रुपीज गोइंग कीप ऑन डाइंग मीन्स मनी इज गोइंग समथिंग लाइक फ्लोइंग लाइक अ रिवर बट एनी वे वॉट एवर कम्स वी आर स्पेंडिंग द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज हेयर इज डीलिंग विद मेंटली इल पेशेंट्स दे आर अनप्रडिक्टेबल एंड डिफिकल्ट टू टेक केयर ऑफ Raja requires three lakh rupees per month to run this center. A large part of this requirement is covered by donations from generous citizens. Some people donate money, and some choose to donate groceries, clothes, and medicines. Raja's life story is truly inspiring. It seems like a plot taken straight out of a movie. One would find it hard to believe that the man you see here was once an alcoholic and a petty criminal from the young age of 16. He stole from his own parents to fulfill his craving for alcohol. He once pledged his mother's Mangal Sutra and silk sarees. Young Raja's ways were a result of the company he maintained. His friends were always a bad influence on him. In fact, it was due to his friends that Raja dropped out of school after class three. My dad has given a good. Are um, good uh, uh, support to study, but I lost my education because my bad friends uh, doing rowdyism and uh, robbing and stealing and uh, beating uh, like a hitman for money sick for drinking we can do anything such a thing and then I I used to rob my mummy Mangal Sutra also then I I rob my mummy sari and I used to give to the barbary shop and I used to drink and uh, the whole family they rejected me. Let him go and die somewhere. My mother used to curse me every day. If I go to home, uh, why you come to home? Go and die somewhere. If someone kill you, we will be very happy. He ruined the reputation of his family. His father, who worked as lineman, grew tired of his ways and kicked him out of his house. Thomas Raja was as good as dead for his parents. Homeless Raja found himself in Chennai a few weeks later. He worked petty jobs and was eventually given shelter by a poor family. But he robbed that family of its possessions to satisfy his craving for alcohol. One day, when he was sleeping near the Chennai railway station, cops arrested him in connection with a robbery. When I was 16 years, I was in the jail and. Uh... Children's Judicial Jail. And that jail was like a hell. Night time, it's a homosexuality. Like they'll beat them, uh, fix them. Sick will come. They won't give any single tablet. But a uh, lot of tragedies in the jail. No proper uh, sleep. Early morning, we should stand nakedly, one behind, one behind. That's a thing. But uh, my life was changed in the jail. While in police custody, Raja became very sick and had a near-death experience. In a state of delirium he made a pact with God to turn over a new leaf if the almighty helped him one last time. In the next few days he miraculously recovered and much to his surprise his parents agreed to bring him back home.
The transformed Raja borrowed 1,000 rupees from his parents and obtained a driving license. He then began a new life, working as an auto rickshaw driver. He even served as a bodyguard to the leader of the auto rickshaw drivers union. Raja did not shy away from his flawed past. In fact, he embraced it. Even today, one can see that lingering remorse in him that drives him to make up for his sins by helping out those in need. Raja was moved by the homeless people sleeping on roadsides and started offering them money and food. This continued for quite some time until he realized that this was not enough. After I came from jail, I used to drive auto rickshaw city, in the city. I used to see the people lying on the road and dying on the road, naked, hungry, a pathetic condition, flies are sitting on the face, lices, or thousands of lices in the face, uh, urine motion, everything same place. They used to live. Then I used to ask, God, why these people used to live like that? This was a time when Mother Teresa had just passed away. He thought to himself that if a frail woman like Mother Teresa could help the needy till her dying breath, then why couldn't a commoner such as himself make a difference? This was a turning point in his life. He started bringing people from the roadside into his home. He accommodated them in his garage and tended to them. First time they took one lady, she is very dirty and um, looking ugly. I don't like that time because he is in my home only. So I don't care about that. I have three children, three kids. How can I feed my children and I can care uh, that lady? I can't do like that. So I fight with my husband. Please, uh, if you don't do like this, I don't like this kind of work. I want to care my children. His parents were furious and asked him to leave the house for a second time. He rented out a house and continued serving the homeless. His wife and children were very unhappy for having to share their home with ailing strangers. But soon they also got on board with his mission and offered him full support. I feel very happy to this good job. I'm standing behind him. He's doing good job now. I'm behind him. That's it. Small support is my size. My kids are also very happy to same, same like daddy. But uh, my kids also like very much. They surrender everything in this very good mind, good work and good heart also. I'm saying very true. <laughs> it's my kids. Teaching me also. Mommy, don't do like this like that please you do you love how can uh, your kids loving same do like that only you are, uh, like like that Radha started the home of hope in 1997 with the help of a christian missionary the government of karnataka granted him a small piece of land in kotanur which today houses over 500 destitutes and 150 children do you know the street light? Street light. When the light comes, all insects will come and round the light. Because something is different. Same thing now the people are coming. Something is different in the Art of Raja's life. Come and see. Then people come and they'll cry. Uh, you are doing a wonderful job. We'll support you. In that support, we are running this operation. Since its inception, the Home of Hope has witnessed some unbelievable transformations. Pankaja was brought to this home after she was found abandoned by the roadside. She was a mentally challenged girl who had been sexually abused and assaulted by a few unidentified miscreants. Her condition was so bad that her survival was in doubt.
After a few months of treatment and rehabilitation, Pankaja is now a transformed individual. Salome was brought to this home at a time when she had lost all hope. She had a 56 kg tumor growing inside her stomach and the doctors had told her that there was no cure. When Salome heard of Raja, she thought of spending her last days here in peace. But Raja still saw hope for her. He consulted the doctors at Ramaya Hospital who told him that there was indeed a cure for Salome's condition. She was then operated successfully and today Salome is healthy and works at a church in Chennai. Auto Raja is not just a good Samaritan, but for those whose lives he has touched, he is a messiah. Perhaps that is why he is lovingly referred to as Daddy. He has been hailed as a real-life hero by many celebrities. The 49-year-old has won several accolades for his selfless work. He has received awards from people of the likes of Sachin Tendulkar, Mukesh Ambani, Amitabh Bachchan, Siddharamaya and the President of India. He has also been awarded two honorary doctorates from universities in America. In 2001, he was awarded the Induvalu H. Honnaya Samaja Seva Prashasti Award and in the following year, he received an award for outstanding social work from the then governor of Karnataka, Ramadevi. Despite such recognition, Autoraja says that his real award is the smiles he has put on the faces of those who saw no hope. This real-life angel, as he is considered, has transformed the lives of thousands and he says that he will continue serving those in need till his dying breath. My country, my people, it's my responsibility. Kindly come and join with me. We will make a difference in their lives. Nafisa Khan and Vanilla, News 9, Bengaluru.